Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. Welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with the Kingdom of Romania. Alright, so before we get started, two things to mention. First of all, there will not be a video on Monday, guys, uh, as usual. Uh, you know, we only have that Monday video for when the series first starts. So there won't be a Monday video. Uh, so we'll be back on, on Tuesday with the series. And then the second thing is uh, just, I had to bring this up and I had to mention this in pretty much almost all my Hoi 4 series. Uh, so some people are going to find the pace that I move and, and were a little bit slow. And uh, if you don't enjoy that, then maybe my channel is not for you. I do move really slow. I do talk a lot. Very talkative in these these campaigns, guys. Uh, and I do manually control most of our divisions, sometimes all of the divisions, uh, even on multiple fronts sometimes, because that's the way I like to play. I enjoy it more, and it kind of makes my channel a little bit different from other YouTube channels. Uh, where they, they're playing at speed 5 the whole time and just kind of letting the ad control everything and then just kind of trying to fix things the best they can. Uh, there's some channels that do that. There's other channels that do play the way I do as well. Uh, and, you know, you got to kind of pick the channel that you, you like. you got to pick the kind of content you like that moves at the pace that you enjoy rather than trying to uh, get the channel to change to the style that you like. Uh, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. I think you should pick the channel based on... Uh, the type of content you like. Uh, so this is uh, about the pace that you can expect me to move uh, that we've been doing. In fact, this has actually been pretty good uh, pace for me. For me, if we're making, uh, you know, two to three months of time here each episode, uh, then that for me during a war, I mean, you know, with it on speed three, uh, that for me is very good timing. Uh, that's usually, that's what I aim for. That's what I like uh, as far as time wise. So you can expect that that's the, st the, the amount of, uh, the pace that we'll have, I should say, throughout this series. And it's only when I'm going about four to six weeks per episode uh, during the war that I feel like we're moving too slow, and then I'll agree with you, like, oh yeah, I need to speed it up a little bit. But two to three months, what we've been doing, I think is a very good time. That's what I aim for. Uh, so that's what you can expect. Just wanted to put that out there. Uh, had a few people bring up it. I, I, I constantly, I, I think across my Hoi 4 series, I'd probably say about, I get one to two video, or one to two comments every single day about it, about it being too slow and then finding it boring or whatever. And it's like, hey, you know, not everybody's going to like my content, uh, but I'm not going to change it because um, one person doesn't like it. Uh, you know, this is what I've been doing since I started YouTube. So I'm going to go in this slow. Um, uh, yeah, I, for my first uh, E4 series was incredibly slow. Uh, I think that's what I started with. Oh, wait, no, no. We actually had a CK2 series first. Yeah, that's how we started. Uh, a long time ago, that was actually, Jinx and I did that series together, in fact. It wasn't a multiplayer, it was just her talking. You can't even watch it anymore. I took all that shit off the channel because it was so, so old. Oh, good God, that was a long time ago. We've been doing YouTube now for over four years, four and a half years. Uh, I've been doing YouTube quite a long time, guys. And it has flown by. Good God, it's going fast. Uh, just time, man. Time. Just losing it. All right, so we're going to cut those guys off. Yeah, it's still trying to cut them off here. We do have more troops here, so we might be able to get it done. Let's see if that'll work. There we go. Beautiful. I like that. Uh, let's go and try and do the same thing here. Yeah, we'll cut these guys off. Uh, these maybe two divisions. We don't really know. We can't really see what they have, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like we did move forward here, so let's go and keep on pushing forward. And we're going to get Kursk soon. Excellent. And those guys are still going to succeed, so we'll keep it going. And we got some more military factories. There, one more military factory. So let's go ahead and get uh, this assigned. Uh, we're going to do into planes. More into planes, guys. Uh, and we actually have a bunch of stuff that we can no longer have to trade for. Yeah, it looks like we are stacked on resources. Excellent. Uh, so that's good to see. Uh, still short on artillery and support equipment, by the way. Uh, in fact, so short that we might want to get more uh, into these. All right, so that looks pretty good. So any factories you get, we'll get a sign there. Uh, so these guys are being destroyed, and we might need to adjust the fronts. Oh yeah, we gotta wrap this up first. Uh, we got these guys here that are cut off, so it's gonna get them destroyed now. And we'll take this guy and have him go up that way. Yeah, just trying to get those guys there cut off. All right, so those guys are cut off. Let's have some attacks this way. Kind of push them forward where we can. And. Alright, so just still kind of moving divisions up along this front. And we'll just keep on pushing for oops. Keep on pushing forward here. Let's go all the way down, I suppose. Might as well. Let's go ahead and thicken this up a little bit. I'm gonna try and cut all these guys off if we can. Through this way here. Let's try and get them cut off. And uh I don't know how many more divisions they have. Something we should check this episode. Let's see uh how much longer it's gonna take to get these 
the Soviets defeated here. And uh, let's just send, let's see how we want to do this. And go that way, that's open. Have these guys go here. We'll have one of them support, I suppose. And then have these guys attack there. And some of these divisions here help out with those guys. All right, looking pretty good. And yeah, the red front is is too long, um, but I'm trying to get this, which it is. It is finished up, excellent. So now that this is done, we're gonna go ahead and, and bring the the uh, red army down, and we'll go ahead and do that now, uh, so they don't have such a wide front. And in fact, that's still pretty wide if you look at the total frontage. So yeah, we're gonna have to move these guys quite a bit. Let's just move them all the way down here. And I know that this might result in uh, them stealing some provinces from us. We'll just have to see. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Uh, and we'll go ahead and same thing here. Frankly, the blue army needs to uh, do a bit more. And yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, uh, that's that's okay for right now. Uh, eventually, we're gonna wanna make some adjustments though. Okay, still attacking over there. Looks like these guys are failing miserably here. Let's go and try and uh, help them out there. Uh, those guys are also failing. Uh, and these guys here are gonna just go ahead and push up along. We're just gonna take all this. I'd rather have a tank doing this, but it's what we have down there, so we'll use them. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here. Let's see if we can't make this happen. We're gonna get that, and yeah, it's gonna be kind of difficult, but we'll see if we can't get that done. Uh, another opportunity to cut some troops off right there, so let's go ahead and do that. Cut them off right there. Uh, radio detection, excellent. We did get that, so we could go ahead and build some towers. Let me just go out real quick. Uh, see what else we wanna get, though. Uh, so yeah, that's the radar station is one. Let's see here. Uh, so I know we know have like a ton of 1942 techs we need to get. Actually, let's start with the field hospitals since manpower is always an issue for us. These divisions could end up getting cut off fairly easily uh, if they just brought some divisions down here. So I guess we'll see if they do. Uh, hopefully not though. But yeah, the red front just keeps on getting wider, so we're gonna need to definitely bring it down some more. Uh, but once we get these guys cut off, I think this will free up a ton of divisions. Uh, so let's go and attack this way, and then have this guy go across here. There's nobody there right now. This is actually going to be a failed attack. Okay. Uh, a lot of troops moving down to the south. Uh, so let's go ahead and have these guys. I'm just going to have them push all along here. And just widen the front so badly that we'll never be able to do anything there. That's exactly how I want to do it. Uh, let's have... Uh, hmm. It would be really easy to cut these guys off. So let's actually have these guys come up over this way. Let's attack that way. And bring another division to do it too. Man, a lot of troops here that are moving, but we'll attack anyway. They're probably all taking the railroads. This should be pretty easy. Let's go across here. All right, so I'm hoping that the three armies that we have is gonna be enough. Uh, I don't really know though. This will, oh, this is gonna work or not. Go and attack this way instead. Clearly, that's not gonna work. And uh, I'm not going to war with the Allies, man. Stop asking. All right, and then we're gonna cut these guys off here. They're gonna keep on bugging us, I already know. Uh, they do have a lot of uh, provinces that are open that aren't being defended, but I don't think it's a lack of divisions. I think it's just them moving uh, their divisions everywhere. That's resulting in that. Uh, let's go and have these guys attack over this way. I'm gonna try and cut these ones off too. Going up this way. And then we'll get all these guys here destroyed. And uh, let's go and support here. Try and get that wrapped up sooner. Uh, so we get all these. We got all these divisions down here. That's excellent to see. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy push forward here, and then we're just going to continue marching along the edge there. Fucking mountain troop there, damn wolves, man. They are fucking heroes. All right, so we we got equipment to fill out all the stuff I already assigned, and so we need to uh, assign a bit more. I kind of feel like uh, planes is really what we need, so we're going to put all the factories into that. Uh, just taking a look at our current, uh, oh, yeah, we're not building anything, so let's go ahead and build some stuff. Uh, again, just try and get them all up to level uh, five at the very least. Make sure we don't have any supply problems anywhere. Yeah, I think five is good for right now. So we'll get that going. Um, I don't think we need, really need radar stations against the Soviets. Uh, if we wanted to build that, we'd build it over here uh, for if we went to war with uh, anybody else, allies or uh, or the uh, uh, the Axis. So. Let's go ahead and do that here. We'll also do a radar station right here, and then another radar station right there in Crete. All right, so that should be good for right now. You know what, actually, let's put it over here. 
and then we'll probably build another one somewhere around here. Uh, so that's good. Um, let's also build more military factories. We we'll always need more, more military factories, man. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and take all these down, and then we'll go ahead and build in. And also, I, I should have just done this. I should have did this differently, but whatever. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and build up their stuff. Uh, they don't have any more slots left, so we're gonna have to build up their infrastructure, I suppose. Uh, I don't know what else we'd get for them other than fortifications. So yeah, let's just build up the infrastructure here. Uh, just take a go all the way up to the top, just to try and uh, again be able to annex them eventually. I'm gonna take these up to the top. We'll take a look and see how we're looking in that regard. Uh, 290, okay, not too bad. Uh, so we did get all these guys cut off here. Uh, there's a lot of divisions cut off. So let's go ahead and start working on getting them destroyed now. Free up all these divisions for operations elsewhere. And there we go. Should be green, yep, green all the way across, excellent. All right, so let's attack him there. I don't know, well, that's not gonna work. Let me move over here then. Uh, let's take a look and see if anybody can make any movement here. Not really. Let's see about there. Yeah, we can win there. We'll make that happen. Then. Have them go too. Okay. And, okay. Soviet Union. Annex in a way. Should probably be worried about other things right now, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, so we should be able to get... This should be a massive coup here, man. Getting a ton of troops cut off there as well. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here. Kind of thicken this up a little bit. And it does look like this will, in fact, be a failed defense here, so we should probably get the division over there to help them out. Wide open there. Have to stop them from getting there, though. Oh, they already got somebody there. All right, and in fact, we could easily cut somebody off here, so let's go ahead and stop that attack. See how the fronts are looking? See if we want to make any adjustments. Uh, Blue Army, obviously, could do a bit more. Let's have them come down here. All right, and almost got this wrapped up, so let's go ahead and finish it up. And you know, we're just gonna attack across rivers, it's fine. Just get her done, man, get her done. All right, so that did fail. Uh, we did win here, though. Let's go ahead and push forward into the mountains there, especially with them being undefended. And I'm just gonna keep on, like, taking all the outside provinces here just to make my front nice and wide and unruly. <laughs> Difficult to, to manage. Uh, let's go and attack over this guy. These guys are about to lose and get themselves cut off here. I'm gonna bring these guys here. Let's have them attack over that way. And then the rest of these will start wrapping up these troops here. They're just about cut off. I guess we can finish up these ones first, I suppose, then. Get them destroyed. Hopefully he'll get there in time. I think that will end up uh, reconnecting these guys here. So I don't know if he can get there in time. Ten hours. Now let's take a look and make sure our planes are in the best locations. Yeah, we're going to need to move. Do we have enough? Yeah, we do. Uh, so let's go ahead and increase their numbers by 100. Get them up to 200 width. All right. Yeah, those guys are looking good too. All right. So those guys have now been destroyed, so that'll get troops all across the front here that we can make use of. Let's go and start pushing forward here. And uh, yeah, those guys are still moving along the, the edge there. Uh, let's go and go there. And we're gonna go ahead and have these guys attack over this way. Probably be a loss. Yeah, it's gonna be a loss. All right, let's pull it back then. All right, let's see. Uh, those guys there are now cut off, so let's get them destroyed. Let's go and have them attack that way. Same with them. While we continue to push forward with these troops here. Try and get those guys cut off right there. Let me see if this would be a win. Alright, try and get through there, cut all those divisions off. Alright, we're gonna get these guys here, and we're gonna try again, with two divisions this time, cut those guys off. Looks like that should be successful there. Let's go and have these guys come in here and cut those ones off. Alright, looking good. Again, I know Red Front is kind of unruly. Once we finish this up, though, we'll, we'll make some more adjustments uh, to our our lines. Let's have these guys all tack across here and just get these three provinces wrapped up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give the uh, Blue Army a bit more cover. And Moscow is falling. All right, so making good progress, guys. Uh, and we do have some resistance there. I think we have. Yeah, we do have them there, but we don't have enough troops. So what we need to do is we need to train up some CAD divisions. We probably get them some MPs too, though. I mean, I guess we'll need them for whoever we fight next. Uh, but yeah, we should probably get some uh, CAD divisions here. Uh, let's get like, uh, I don't know, like six or something like that uh, for right now. And we're just probably going to deploy them as soon as they're ready. 
Uh, so let me see if these guys no, not done yet. Still got that paratrooper division training up, and we did cut all these guys off. Awesome. Just gonna get them destroyed now. And uh, get some territory here, though. I'm really tempted to have him go that way. It's fine. Uh, so that's not gonna work. Let's go and stop that. Let's go this way instead. And he's continuing moving up along the borders there. And uh, let's go and start pushing forward up this way. Try and cut these guys off here. And he's trying to leave. He can't leave, man. You're not allowed to. Alright, let's go ahead and have these guys support that attack. And we'll attack it this way as well. Alright, should be able to push forward across this territory here. And still trying to get a division cut off there. So we'll try and make that happen. Let's go ahead and hop across the river there. Hop scotch across it. And uh, let's go ahead and have any divisions that aren't on railroads go and attack this guy here. Let's get this wrapped up, man. All right, soon, soon. Uh, so let's go ahead and have the blue army cover all that. So that's all our territory. And I don't think the Germans, yeah, the Germans aren't gonna give us anything. We're still kind of, uh, kind of occupying quite a bit. As far as our war participation, we have 36%, so that's pretty good, man. Pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and wipe these divisions out now. Can't have them breaking out. I'm gonna push forward here. And uh, I'm gonna try and have these guys cut these ones off right here. See if we can't make that happen. And uh, just gotta get somebody here to wipe these guys out. So let's have them go here and there we go. All right, still wiping these guys out. And let's go ahead and push forward here. All right. And yeah, it's just the, the red army. Yeah, the red front is still a little bit long, so we should get the yellow army over here to kind of help us out. And we can also destroy all these guys now. All right, awesome. Help out there. And we haven't quite wrapped this up. We're just waiting. And then they'll, we'll be able to make some adjustments to the front, uh, like pulling the yellow army down a lot. We don't need to cover all that anymore. Blue army can do it on their own, I think. And then we'd want to pull the yellow army down some to kind of help us out here. As we are moving towards Stalingrad. Should be within our grasp very soon. Uh, so... And when does he get there? 11 hours. He's gonna beat us more than likely. Yes, we'll just let him go. And uh, these guys are almost up there. Excellent. Making very good progress. And this is uh, super easy, man. <laughs> oh, the Soviets. Almost. Almost feel bad for him. I do have Russian heritage. Y'all didn't know. Uh, my father was uh, from. Well, technically, my father was born. He was born in the Soviet Union, and, and technically, he was born in Ukraine. He was born in Kiev, but my family's from Russia. They had moved to Kiev before he was born. Uh, we could cut him off that way, so instead do it this way. Then we get that guy included in it. Uh, but yeah, my father came here to America when he was really, really young. He was like three or something like that, so he's essentially American. Or was essentially American. He's not living any longer, but I never knew him, so he wasn't around. So I don't feel bad about that. And uh, almost got these guys uh, destroyed here, man. Look at all these troops. Look at them all, man. Uh, we did get a division cut off here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at you go, Soviets. <laughs> they actually cut somebody off. We'll get them linked here. And they're still fighting and winning, so we'll let them go. Let's go and attack all the way across here. And you know what? Let's let this guy. I mean, need to have him do that. Uh, let's go and destroy these ones, though. Them destroyed. And uh, this will cut that guy off, so we'll get him destroyed as well. We're attacking across the river there. I mean, that's not smart, but we'll let it keep going, I suppose. Alright, so should have these guys reconnected. Looks like they're gonna break out themselves, though. <laughs> Soviets can't stop us, man. It's just uh, it's too much for them. Can't handle it. Uh, so let's go and pull the run right back. So we got the yellow army up along that front. Uh, and we did get cut off here, uh, this division, but I'm not too worried about it, guys. I'm not too worried about it. He'll just end up getting himself cut off, probably, more than likely. Uh, we're gonna keep that going even though it's a failure. It's okay. All right, so let's go and just keep on pushing forward across the front, and uh, these guys should be reconnected in no time here. We are winning there, uh, and cutting that guy off. That's right. So let's attack over this way then. So yeah, they are now reconnected, and uh, we just need to get these guys cut off, which would probably be really easy to do. Just tanking across there. 
Alright, so that looks good. How's the blue army doing? Uh, I need to get some troops wiped out here. Alright, and uh, still attacking there, just barely <laughs> green. Surprising it's green, but it is. So we'll keep it going. Uh, this does look like it's gonna be a loss. Let's go and attack it this way. Uh, we'll let it, again, we'll let it keep going. And let's go and have these guys go over here. And when do they leave? Four hours, we're gonna let them. So I think somebody might replace them. All right, and then we're gonna have this guy just shoot across here, cut off any divisions that they sent down here while he continues to go up along the borders there. And I was trying to cut that guy off, but it didn't work. And then we'll also go across this way. And when does he leave? Two hours, so just let him leave then. All right, these guys help out. There's nobody here to stop us from taking this territory. And we're gonna attack that guy rather than wait for him. All right, and then we're gonna have these guys push up this way. We'll have him stop him from advancing any further. And let's go ahead and push forward here. And more troops cut off. All right, so yeah, just super easy at this point. I mean, it's always the case against the Soviets uh, that it gets pretty easy. It's just such open terrain. It's just so easy to cut divisions off. And, uh, you know, it's the AI too. So, you know, they make a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. All right, so these guys are gonna come up over this way. And we just about got all this wrapped up here. I don't know what the hell is this guy doing. Uh, let's have him uh, come up here, I suppose. Just try to get those, well, maybe we'll go here. Try to get those guys cut off, man. They're making it tough. They don't want to be cut off. Don't understand it. Uh, so, hmm, I tried to cut them off here. That didn't work. All right, so let's go and attack up this way now. And we'll try and cut those guys off. All these ones here. I'm going to go this way and let's support that attack there. Should be able to cut those guys off there as well. And Stalingrad is within our grasp. We can see it, we can taste it, we can smell it. Imagine, I'm just imagining that Stalingrad would have been kind of stinky. It's a big city and cities are stinky. So uh, let's, uh, and I imagine you could probably smell it probably right around here. That's the smell distance. Uh, so we'll attack there. And we'll just lock troops down even if we lose, that's okay. Let's go and attack here that cuts these guys off and frees these ones up to attack that way. And let's attack over, oops, attack over this way. I know that they're about to be reinforced, so we probably won't be able to complete that, but that's okay. Let's go and get Grozny as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and have uh, this guy here attack there while these divisions here wipe them out. Uh, and what are these guys doing? They're going that way. Okay, let's have him come up over here and help us out. All right, uh, so Blue Army Front is need to, does, does need to be extended. Uh, let's go ahead and bring the Yellow Army down some. Oops. And uh, Blue Army down. And uh, then we'll also be able to bring the Red Army down. There we go. Oops. Eh, that's fine. I'm not gonna mess with it. It's fine, guys. All right, uh, so that looks pretty solid. Uh, just kind of let all of our divisions move. And this guy's gonna push forward here. And we could cut that guy off, but apparently we decided not to or something. Uh, we'll just let it happen. All right, so still trying to get the win here. Didn't really uh, succeed. With some of these attempts that I did here, these maneuvers. All right, so let's just attack that way then. Uh, and let's just lock troop. Nope, that's not gonna work. That was terrible. Let's keep them here and uh, see if there's anything we can do. I know that, yeah, we might as well just go ahead and start pushing across now at this point. Yeah, a lot of these blue troops are, are still moving back to their borders though. And these guys are done, excellent. So we're just gonna put them into their own little separate army for right now. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, shit. I meant to, to deploy these two first, uh, but that's fine. Uh, we'll just have to create another one. Another training army, because I mucked it all up. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them training. And we actually are doing all right on manpower, so we could go ahead and make some adjustments to some divisions if we wanted to, but you know what, guys? Let's just uh, leave it as is for right now, and let's, let's kind of conquer this. Oh, he's already done it, never mind. Uh, but yeah, let's just wait until the next, uh, the next conflict, guys. The Soviet one is just about done, so I'm not gonna make any more uh, adjustments, division designs. Every what we have right now is working just fine. Uh, so let's just make use of it. 
And push forward here. Still trying to cut off across here. Having some problems getting all the way across, uh, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, well, there's some greens there, so eventually we're going to get it done. Not winning here either. Let's go and try sending another division over there. And uh, getting across the river to Stalingrad might be problematic. Let's go, and go across this way, though. Did lose there. Uh, let's have the front keeps on getting adjusted here. Will they give us anything else? They will not. All right, well, that's good to, good to check, though. All right, so let's go get these ones here destroyed, and these guys are gonna go across here, and that will finally cut them all off. Uh, they have no ports along here either, so they will be cut off from supply. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of still try and cut them off as much as possible so then I can't retreat. And then let's send, uh, send these guys here, these guys here. Let's just get this done, man. All right, so that looks good. Attack right there. I'll just keep that one going despite it being a loss. And we need to attack these guys to kind of help out from that. I don't think they're gonna send an additional division in. All right, so it's gonna thicken this up a little bit. Give that front some girth. And they did pull the divisions back here. Hmm. All right, I think we won there. So we still, yeah, we're still trying to get these guys cut off, but man, it's, this guy's too weak to do it right now. Pull back, man. I don't ever want to listen when I don't have it. I'm going to have it paused. All right, so let's go and push these guys up this way then. Just try and figure out a way to get them cut off, man, without having to hit these river penalties. Uh, so these guys are just about cut off. Should be able to get the win there. Cut those guys off from supply. Let's go and have these guys attack over this way. All right, lovely. Looking good. And, uh... We did win there, and so that'll allow us to attack there with an additional division. Let's go ahead and have these guys attack here to lock those ones down. And let's go and push forward across this territory, man. Actually, no, no, no. Pull that back. Support that. Cut that guy off. Alright, so you guys need to get this hurried up and wrapped up. And, uh, same thing here. Let's finish him up. All right, looking gorgeous. All right, so the Red Army is going to have their front drastically increased now that they've wrapped that up. And so we'll kind of bring them up that way, just kind of we'll slowly increase it. And, uh, yeah, overall our front's not that long now. Yeah, not too long. Uh, how much time we got left? We got time. All right, awesome. Uh, so might even be able to get them defeated this episode. Let's see. 73% towards capitulation. They've lost 5.6 million casualties. Uh, we did 3.8 of that, so already we've killed 600,000 in this episode. Uh, we've lost 255,000 total, so yeah, it's been it's been high casualties for sure. It hasn't been an easy uh, conquest. Well, I mean, no, it's been an easy conquest. I guess in relation to like how uh, many men they lost, I suppose. That's not too bad of a number, but... For a smaller country like us, 255,000 manpower uh, lost is quite a bit. All right, so a bit of assist here. Stalingrad is so close. So close, man. All right, let's go and attack over there. Oh, we already got troops there. Never mind, we'll go this way then. And then we'll better get those guys cut off and destroyed. And this is the last little bit here. And uh, what we're going to do is just take uh, these guys and put them onto this front. And we'll just have a... Uh, oh, they're just about done. Let them finish it up. All right, so these guys are now cut off. Let's get them destroyed. And then we'll have to make some adjustments to all of our front lines and offensive lines and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and we did get these guys cut off as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can't uh, push forward here. Here. Kind of, again, thicken it up just to get them away from here so they can't free them up. And uh, get all those guys destroyed. Uh, so still trying to make this happen without attacking across rivers so far. A lot of success here. Let's try, try this way though. We'll see if we can't can't do that. And it looks like we have finished this up. Excellent. So we're gonna want to make some adjustments uh, to our borders again. Let's go ahead and pull the yellow army back. Just have them help with Stalingrad for right now, and let's also have the red army help with that too. And uh, well, frankly, yeah, <laughs> this is fine. Uh, let's just pull it back just a little bit then. And yeah, that looks good. All right, so yeah, much shorter front overall. Uh, frankly, they don't have a lot of troops left at this point, guys. Uh, I don't even know how they're going to keep on uh, fighting. They're just lacking severely in, in divisions at this point. Uh, they're not looking good. All right, so let's get those guys destroyed. Let's tack over here. Uh, we're helping to lose in attacks. So that's why it's so low. So 
attack over this way. Alright, so remember, uh, we typically have to go to right about here, somewhere around there to get the Soviets destroyed, especially we're not being attacked from uh, the, the Asian uh, borders. Get these guys destroyed, so it's gonna, there's a lot of open territory. Once we get through some of these more trickier parts right here, uh, we might put it under AI control, I don't know, we just don't have the manpower to really support doing that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the forward observers. Uh, it helps with that reinforce rate quite a bit. All right, so Stalingrad's right there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get there though, guys. We might have to try cutting them off, man. Let's go attack over this way. Yeah, maybe we'll try cutting them off over here. And uh, you're gonna have to attack across the river, but these ones, there's too many divisions along here, so we'll have to do it that way. All right, just keep on pushing forward. Stalingrad's a big, big part of the victory points that's remaining. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys just go shoot along the coast here. Uh, it's better doing that with a tank than what we were doing. And uh, just go to grab that real quick. These guys push forward here. And uh, maybe take one of these and throw him over here. Alright, so yeah, we should be able to win there and there. We're attacking, again, we're attacking across rivers. Oh, wait a minute. They move some divisions there. Alright, well, maybe we might have to go this way then. Yeah. Alright. Where we're not getting river penalties. And they do keep on adjusting these in ways I don't like. Try and get those guys cut off, I suppose. And okay, so we do have this here. Uh, so really, we just need to get. Yeah, I guess we'll go this way. Nope, can't go that way. Okay, so this is the way a little bit. So all these divisions kind of move around. Tanks just flying over to the victory points. Excellent. Um, so there's none really along here. Let's just go and shoot up to the top here and try and cut all these guys off. Uh, as soon as they get over there to that victory point, we're gonna have them go up along the edge here. And uh, let's just go ahead and start pushing forward across this territory with any divisions that can. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go across here as well. Oops. We're going to have these guys go across there. Let's go ahead and stop that attack. Oh, we were locking them down, weren't we? All right, let's go ahead and send him then. Lock him down even longer. All right, so try and attack right here. Let's see if that works. Maybe we'll attack here instead. Yeah. And then just trying to cut them off here, guys. Uh, and we did get that uh, national focus complete. Okay, uh, so let's see what we want to get next. Uh, are we going to start working on the naval ones? Uh, this is the head of time penalties for the fighters, so you could get those 1944 fighters like really, really early if we wanted to. Uh, so I suppose that's an option. Uh, we could also just get the mountain artillery, increased uh, speed from mountain artillery and anti tanks. Uh, or we can go and start getting the naval stuff. You know, what? let's go and get the naval stuff. We'll get the dockyards. About time, I suppose. I'm gonna have these guys push forward here. Uh, are they going that way? Yeah, they're already going that way. All right, uh, and yeah, now we probably won't use the paratroopers, obviously, against the Soviets, uh, but we might end up using them against uh, against the. Well, what are we doing here? Oh, okay, we're going that way. Got it. Uh, against whoever we end up fighting, the Axis or the, uh, the Allies. I was gonna have a vote for that. Um, but you know what, guys? I, I think I don't know. I'm gonna think I'm gonna think on that because uh, yeah, there's there's some good reasons to go after the axis. Uh, might make more sense, honestly. And if we did a vote, I'd have to wait and give it time for everybody to vote. Attack it this way. Attack it that way. Again, just trying to cut those guys off right there, and uh, trying to cut them off here now. Um, but frankly, the yellow army just isn't sending enough divisions over here. So what we need to do? It's like let's pull this back then. Yeah, let's pull this back some. Let the Blue Army cover this. So we'll get more troops over to here. Because frankly, yeah, I just can't get anything done. We don't have enough here to get it done. Alright, uh, more troops cut off over here. Let's go ahead and keep on pushing forward. Uh, and whoa, 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 wait a minute. Whoa. The United Kingdom declared war on Iceland. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, they're fully democratic. Um, Alright. Yeah, they declared war on Iceland, so Iceland joined the Axis. Okay, that was strange. Today I doing some strange stuff. Nothing new here, guys. All right, so let's go and get these uh, divisions here destroyed. And I'll take that guy. Just take these two. And this guy here is gonna be there soon. This time right here. All right, so still trying to get the Stalingrad. These guys are moving. I don't know why they're moving. Don't move. Stay here, man. 
I think they're all coming over to this front, so we just need to get this wrapped up really quick. But we can uh, free them up to come up along this border here and help us out, trying to get to Stalingrad. And uh, let's tank there. These guys now have a bit more troops here. I'm trying to get right here is what I'm thinking. Although, I'm not tight. You know, I don't think that touches, so we'd have to actually win there. Alright, well, we can try doing that then. Looks like we should be able to win it. And uh, we got these guys that can cut off, so let's go ahead and make that happen. Alright. Taking a look at the uh, tanks here, and they are almost to there. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and have them go all the way around here. There's this big ol'. <laughs> oh, it's, it's funny looking, I know. I know, guys. Alright, so let's have a, these guys grab that. And uh, I have to finish defending here. It's fine. Let's have all these guys go here to this front. We don't need all these guys here. Looks like the Italians should be able to do it for us. Alright, let's go and push forward over there. And no, Iceland. You just joined the damn faction. They're already trying to get us to join the conflict. All right, so I'm gonna attack across the the river here, man. I'm trying to get these Stalingrad troops cut off. That's the only way to really do it. Uh, these guys here are already moving over there, so it's gonna move them that way. And we can also increase the front just a little bit. Oop, not that much. Okay, so about to get that guy cut off. Um, could go ahead and get some that guy cut off as well. And uh, just need to get across right here. Get that uh, city taken, and then or that that province taken, and then the uh, What's going on over this way? All right, let's let's fix this. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna have the tanks come across here. I mean, yeah, we get that province taken, then Stalingrad will be completely cut off. Let's go this way, and uh, it's just a matter of time, guys. Just a matter of time. And uh, Stalingrad is almost cut off. Let's go and have them support this attack here. There we go. Alright, so Stalingrad is now cut off from supply. Let's go ahead and get these guys attacking and uh, destroy it. Alright, looking good. Let's go ahead and start pushing forward here. A lot of divisions cut off all throughout this territory now. Good spot here for cutting off some divisions. Let's go and make that happen. Looks like they might lose there. Uh, let's go push forward here and here. Don't really want to advance that way for right now. Let's just advance across this territory here. Alright, so he's going across, grabbing all those up. And we should be able to cut all these guys off. And we're even beating the Germans, man. <laughs> we're advancing quicker than they are. We do have a smaller front, though, so. To be fair, we got a smaller front. Alright, so these guys are now going to attack over this way. Make sure we got everybody attacking Stalingrad. Come on, man. Make it happen. Alright, and then let's go ahead and start pushing forward here have those guys, uh, tanks help them get there a little bit quicker and defend it. And let's go and try and cut these guys off here. Attack right there, try and help out in that defense since it does look like we're about to lose it. Attack over that way. And let's just attack this way instead. Because those guys should cut them off. And not able to do that. Okay, we'll go this way instead I guess. Or we'll go up this way actually. All right, so they canceled their lend lease with us finally. It took them long enough to realize that it's probably not best to provide lend lease to your enemies. And uh, let's just have the yellow army. Oh, the yellow army's gonna need like their whole front adjusted, aren't they? All right, so that looks good for right now. We'll pull the red army back here as soon as we get an opportunity to. And uh, oh, Iceland has joined the conflict. Okay. All right, so let's go and push forward, guys. Let's go and continue grabbing territory up. Uh, these guys will be cut off soon. Stalingrad is almost in our hands, and this is going to make a big impact on our uh, ability to get them defeated here. Uh, oh, nice. Well, we did finish that up. Now we just need to grab this province. All right, so we're still winning there. There we go. Excellent. All right, so let's go and push forward here, thicken it up a little bit. And uh, these guys push them forward up that way. This uh, division here is cut off. We're going to get him destroyed. I know that division there is pretty weak, but it's what we got. <laughs> and uh, these guys did win there. All right, awesome. We need to get... Uh, they're going to try and... I, I think we're going to not defend all that because they're just going to keep on uh, going there. I don't want them there. All right, so they'll move. 
Because we're not going to advance any that way unless we absolutely have to. Alright, so let's go and push forward here. And attack right there. Oh, it looks like he was already doing it. Okay, we'll have him go this way then. And he's going across there. Okay. And we did get these guys cut off. Let's go and get them destroyed. And we're still working on the Stalingrad troops as well. Trying to get them finished, finished up here. Uh, it's all green though, so it should be done soon. Nobody's actually taken this, so we need to send somebody over there to grab that real quick. Alright, looking pretty good. Uh, these guys should probably just go here, since it does look like we're not going to win that attack. Alright, and tanks are still moving, surprisingly. I uh, wouldn't expect them to make any progress. Let's attack there, just kind of push forward here where we can. Uh, pretty small front overall. Uh, what we need to do is go ahead and get Red Army covering a little bit less, though. Yellow Army can cover a bit more. Yeah, for right now that looks pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and have them push forward here. And we did get more military factories. All right, uh, three more military factories. Uh, did we get Stalingrad? I'm guessing we took Stalingrad. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these assigned. I really want to build the Air Force up a bit more, so let's go ahead and do a few more into planes. And that will, of course, require us to trade for more rubber. Uh, Siam does have a little bit more for us, though, so we'll take that. And uh, keep on denying their request for us to join their faction. All right, so these guys will be cut off here soon, so we'll get them destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and just grab that province real quick. And he's going across here. Okay, so let's instead go this way. Just have him go there for right now. And uh, light tanks just flying forward, getting tons of Soviet troops cut off. And let's go ahead and finish this last little bit of divisions up. And uh, push forward here as well. Okay. I'll grab that province, I suppose. Thicken it up a little bit. Tanks are, are winning there, so we'll let them finish it. And uh, I guess we'll go ahead and help out here. I don't really like that that went into German hands, so we'll still want, want to attack from there, in that direction. Alright, so still trying to get these guys here cut off. Maybe going right there. It's hard to say if that'll cut them off or not. Alright, so winning there. Let's go ahead and stop these guys from advancing. Let's go ahead and push forward here, grab that. All right, lovely. A lot of troops here about to be cut off, and uh, that'll probably be the end of the Soviet Union, man. That's, that's a lot of divisions. They don't really have much divisions as it is. Uh, just taking a look at their total divisions, I mean, they got 61 to 91, probably about like 75 divisions remaining. Uh, so yeah, they have very little chance of uh, getting this done. They don't stop us, I mean. <laughs> Which, I mean, obviously they're not gonna stop us, but, but uh, you know what I mean. They uh, aren't going to put up much of a defense from this point on, I don't think. Oops, these guys need to just go straight over there. And uh, we're going to make sure that these divisions are assigned to this front here, so that they help us wrap this up. Okay, uh, here's another area. Okay, so we're taking that. Let's go ahead and have uh, these guys push forward here. Keep the tanks pushing forward while the infantry kind of wraps these up. Uh, and you guys are attacked that way as well. Okay, let's attack. And this should be fairly easy. Now, they are trying to reconnect, uh, so we might have some problems with that. I don't know. We'll see. Right, so I'm take that. It's, frankly, we don't have enough divisions assigned to this front. Uh, so we need to get these guys here wrapped up. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish this up. Have them go this way. Just take a couple of these to kind of get this done. And all across here as well. And just, just do it, man. Win. <laughs> finish it. All right, so we're winning here as well. These guys are attacking them that way. The last a little bit of divisions that we have here that need to attack. Okay. And uh, let's go and get behind these guys. Not to get that victory point into our lovely little hands. I said our hands are lovely. <laughs> uh, let's go up this way. And there we go. All right, so all these troops here. No, it doesn't quite look as many like as many divisions as I was thinking it was gonna be. Uh, yeah, it's not quite as uh, impactful, I don't think. But again, these guys are they are done for, man. This is a lot of troops here that we'll have uh, destroyed. And let's go and extend the blue front, like so. And uh, I guess we can have this guy push forward here. Uh, all this matters. Uh, again, I was just trying to get this territory, the little victory point up there that I really want to race, race up to. And... Uh, no, we're going to have to decline to lend lease offers. Um, let's take a look. 
at, uh, first of all, let's see how we're doing in equipment. We have 80,000. Uh, I didn't send them like, did I do it one time when I did that? I don't even know what I sent them. Uh, we might not have, uh, let me see. I might've sent that. Yeah, this is how much I was sending per month. Uh, so, I mean, we only have so much of that equipment. Yeah, we don't even have any more, so we can go ahead and cancel it. I didn't mean to do that per month when we did that. Uh, but it didn't matter anyway. It just sent an extra 5,000, which was fine. Uh, just taking a look at them currently, and they are very close to being annexable. Uh, so if we just built a little bit more in their territory, uh, we'd probably be able to annex them. Uh, but what could we get them? Uh, well, they do have a little bit of slots left. Okay, they didn't before. Look we'll at a military factory there. And then maybe we can build some land, or maybe some coastal forts uh, up along here, just to kind of wrap it up. Hopefully that should be enough to annex them. And I should have waited to do all this. I should have just ticked it up to the top, actually, since it's just such a pain in the ass. And then also uh, check the infrastructure along here. Oh, Lord. Yeah, there's there's a lot of infrastructure that could be built up. I'm not even going to mess with it, guys. Frankly, uh, we've pretty much won this war with them. Uh, so let's just go ahead and build uh, military factories for the future. And build it in Best Arabia, I guess. And some other good locations here. All right, and then we'll tick those up to the top as well. And I know we have like a ton of civilian factories building. Uh, we can let them repair though. Afterwards, it's fine. All right. Uh, so yeah, just trying to just trying to get the Soviets defeated. Frankly, just want to get this done. And uh, these guys can attack up this way. And let's wrap that guy up. All right. So he's gonna go grab that for us. He's gonna attack over this way. And that has been finished up as well. It looks like, or should be soon. Somebody's got to be going over here, right? Get that done, man. Uh, let's go and take these these troops and put them onto that border, and then we're going to uh, just kind of change up their current front line here. Let's go and have the red army move a bit. Uh, it looks like well, the blue army in the middle now. Fuck it, that's the way we'll do it. The yellow army is now going to be here, and uh, let's go like so, and we'll just kind of slowly adjust them. All right, looks good. Let's go push forward here. Uh, looks like that got messed up. All right, well, whatever. It's fine. Let's go ahead and have them reconnect. Well, no, no. Let's have them go across here. Fuck you. <laughs> I thought I had this guy selected. All right, he's selected now. All right, and then we'll have... Okay, he already got somebody going that way. Uh, just trying to wrap these uh, last few divisions up, man. And uh, I guess we'll just start pushing forward across here. Yeah, and uh, there's Victory Point right there we can go after. Any of the provinces, of course, do help uh, with getting the final win, though. Getting them ready to capitulate. Let's just take a look and see where they're currently at. We don't actually want them to capitulate this episode. And uh, we'll try and go as far as we can without them capitulating. What is the decision available? Uh, oh, we can expand the aluminum plant in uh, Stalingrad. Okay, well, we don't really need aluminum right now, so we won't. And we had the king as our... We got Stalingrad, we didn't get no event. I don't know if you have to have more than, you have to have like both Stalingrad and like Moscow or Leningrad or something like that in your hands. But yeah, we got Stalingrad and we didn't get, and yeah, you might need to have more than one, because we didn't get anything. We're 42% towards the fascism here, so that's soon, soon we'll be fully fascist. All right, so let's just get these troops here finished up. And uh, this guy's gonna come over to this province, or this uh, border. And we did get our infantry equipment, new infantry equipment. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, well, no, actually, let's start with the anti-tanks. And we will go ahead and get the new infantry equipment out there. All right, fantastic. So, I don't know, yeah, I don't think there's any, like, high-level victory points left at this point, guys. Uh, so, at this point, it's just taking, yeah, there's really nothing out there. It's really just a, a matter of taking provinces. Just trying to get all these provinces taken. Alright, so they got them moving. Let's go and have them go all the way out there. While this guy kind of wraps this territory up for us. Alright, and did anybody get this yet? No. Even though we have like... <laughs> wow. Okay, let's get them all assigned here. That's it's kind of messed up right now. Alright, uh, and the Yellow Army will want to extend them as well. Trying to get these guys here cut off from supply with that tank division. And uh, we should be able to get these guys cut off here as well. And then we'll have him go up that way. 
All right, so just need to get a lot of these troops need to just get on the border. And the problem, of course, is the lack of supply. We got like, you know, mud all across here. And so, yeah, big issue right now is, is the supply. Uh, but I don't think we get the infrastructure in done, done in time, guys. Uh, so, and I mean, we're so close to having them capitulated at this point. So I don't even wanna, I don't wanna mess with it. Uh, 90% towards capitulation. And uh, just getting some of these victory points, it's gonna tick that up by a lot. Okay, let's have these guys go this way. And we did win there, so these divisions here will be ready, and I'm gonna tank cross a river because I'm sure they've been cut off from supply from for a while now. So it be, should be pretty easy to, to get those guys destroyed. Uh, and then they can't possibly have too much equipment as it is, honestly. You can expect them to be running, running pretty low by now. All right, so this guy's still going across here. Just go ahead and have him continue pushing it forward, and we're gonna go ahead and increase the front all the way across here. And uh, the other army will wrap these guys up, and then when they're done, they'll they'll come up over this way. And we are just about done. There we go. A little bit there. It's left. We'll go and attack them. Nope. We'll just let the, the Italians do that. And uh, let's go ahead and have the. We're just gonna delete. We're just gonna have the whole yellow army change up the front here. Let's go and take the yellow army and put them up along this border here. We even give them. We don't. We haven't had planning bonuses, but we'll give them a planning bonus here. And I don't think I have the whole army assigned. Not bad. All right, so we'll get them going that way, and then the whole blue army. Uh, we're gonna have them all assigned to this frontier. I know that that's gonna mess up some movement and stuff that we already had going, but that's okay. And uh, just go and get these guys here destroyed. Alright, then just cut these guys off here. Oh, somebody's already done it. Alright, so he's gonna go over that way, and then we'll destroy those guys. So push forward here and here. Alright, so yeah, just take all these victory points, try and get as much territory in our hands as possible. And keep denying these requests for us to help in the conflict. No interest in helping them. And go ahead and help with getting those guys wrapped up. And let's go and pull the blue army back. Don't need them up along this border anymore. Alright, so still getting that. Let's go ahead and have them go up this way. And we're just going to go straight across there. Just make sure we always have these guys moving. See any divisions that aren't moving, we're going to get them moving. And, uh... Should have this done next episode. Is the plan should be pretty early in the next episode. Is when we're gonna have the uh, peace treaty. Uh, so somebody needs to wrap this up. Everybody's just sitting there staring at it. <laughs> Oops. Get it done, man. All right, so most of the divisions are assigned over there. All right, uh, so those guys must have got out of there. They must have took the railroads out of there. Let's see, we don't have moving forward. Let's go and have them push forward there. Oh, looks like we lost it already. Okay, we just gained it. We already lost it. All right, let's have these guys push forward over here. Whoever gets there first, it's a race. All right, so let's just go and take territory all crazily. Little loops. And this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. So we're going to get something picked here. Uh, and we're going to do the anti-tanks first. And let's go ahead and get all this outdated equipment. If there's anything else, I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. We need to get the planes going. Uh, so... Yeah, we're good to go here. A lot of damaged uh, factories currently on the close air support. We could go ahead and get another um, another air wing of both of those. Uh, and we could even move these because we haven't been moving them, so it would be wise to keep them. Although we are kind of short on space a little bit. Yeah, space is at a premium at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and have them come over. Oh, I can't even reach there. Damn it. All right, well, we're not here anymore, so at the very least what we could do is change these up. Can they reach? They cannot. Just put them there for now. All right. So that is going to be the end of the episode. Uh, we are right along this border. This is where you get the Soviets defeated. They're currently at 92% towards capitulation. Uh, they have lost 6.55 million total, uh, 6.5 for the Soviets. We did 4.3 million compared to the 274,000 that they've done. So pretty good numbers overall. Uh, Germany's killed 1.9 million of that, Italians 210,000. Uh, we are responsible for 36% of the total war participation, so Germany will control the peace treaty for the most part, but we'll probably be able to get some territory, and uh, we'll be annexing that territory from the Soviets, trying to extend our borders out this way. 
Maybe try and get all of this. If I can, all around the Black Sea. That'd be the uh, optimum uh, outcome, if possible. I want to see what we can do in the Peace Treaty. So we'll be doing that in Tuesday's episode, since there won't be an episode on Monday. There have been successful British invasions here against the Italians, especially in Sicily. Uh, it looks like some Americans kind of helping out there. We'll have to see what happens. So far, no really successful ones, though. Just, they're there. They still haven't even wrapped up France just yet. Or, excuse me, uh, the French territory in North Africa. Uh, the Vichy France. Uh, and Siam is not, hold up, Siam not in, Siam is not in yet. And as I said, I think that will, well, looks like the Japanese did invasion here. Yeah, the Japanese have invasions everywhere right now. So yeah, they're conquering everything. So the allies are collapsing, falling apart. Uh, not not going so well for them. And uh, look at Romania, man. They're beefy. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I know we do have all this air experience and army experience. Uh, I wanted to use it for new new stuff though. Uh, but we're not we're not researching any of those yet. Uh, but we could get it the we got the ahead of time penalty here for the close air. No no no. That's the fighters we get the ahead of time penalty. We don't have that yet. So you can't use it for that. So you know what? We might want to go ahead and just use our air experience on a current model is what I'm thinking uh, since it is going to be a little while before we get those. Uh, so yeah, we might use our air experience for that. The army experience, we could uh, improve our tanks. Uh, we can improve those light tanks if we wanted to. Uh, we can start doing medium tanks now. We didn't have the production to do it before. And now we kind of do. So we could go ahead and start researching those so we can get some medium tanks going for fighting against whoever we fight next. Uh, so that'd be an option. A lot of things we can do now, uh, now that we're much stronger, have a lot more infrastructure and production and stuff. Uh, so we have a little bit more options open to us than we did before. Uh, but yeah, Soviet should be defeated next episode. We'll do that peace treaty, and then after that, we'll um, start getting ready for the next next conflict, uh, which will be there against the Axis or the Allies. I was going to do a vote, but you know what, guys? I'm going to think on this and uh, see which one I think would be the would be the best route. Uh, but I think it would be funner to fight the Axis. They seem more powerful right now, uh, so I think they'll be more of a challenge. Most importantly, we have a border with them. While we don't have a border with the Allies, and there's really not. As I said, if we fight the Allies, what do we do? You know, we fight North Africa, invade, you know, the UK. I mean, what else do you really do? Uh, there's not, there's not really anybody else to fight. That's that's it, guys. Uh, so, eventually, doing an invasion in the United States would be more of a pain in the ass than anything else, um, especially because we don't have a navy. So yeah, I mean, I think it would be more entertaining to fight the Axis since we have this big old border against them. They're also really powerful as well. And, uh, yeah, I think it should be, uh, I think that'd be really, really fun. So maybe that's what we'll do. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion in the comments, whether we should go to that war with the Axis or the Allies, uh, which you think would be more entertaining. We do have to fight the Turks as well, so that's another thing to consider. Uh, get that uh, national focus to get us the war goal so we can invade the Turks. I need to build our army up a bit more. We have manpower now uh, as well, so we might want to use that. Go ahead and start building up our army a little bit. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously this is not going to be enough for a war against the Axis. So, yeah, we'll, we'll start building that back up again, guys. Uh, equipment is, is actually not great. Uh, still got a lot of shortages here, so that's something to consider. Uh, but I do hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I hope to see you on that next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.